Shelby. And in case you missed it, Father's Day is this weekend. And if you're watching this video and today is Sunday, Father's Day is today. So make sure you do something special for that important guy in your life. Whether that's your dad, your stepdad, your grandpa, your neighbor, your small group leader, do something special to show them how important they are to you and how much you care about them. Now, last week we started something new at the Ridge called Go For It. Everyone's getting involved, adults, students, and even you guys. Go For It is all about helping the people that we love find the God who loves them. So to help you do that, each week, we're gonna give you a challenge. Last week's challenge was all about praying for someone you know who doesn't know Jesus. So this week, I want you to think about that person again. And if you missed last week's video, think about someone who you know, someone you care about, who doesn't know about Jesus, okay? If you're thinking about that person, the challenge for this week is to do something special for them. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what that something special is. That's for you to decide. What is something you like to do, something you're good at, that you could do for someone else. Think about it like this box of donuts. Guys, donuts are amazing. You can do so many different things with donuts. You could spend some of your allowance money and buy them one of those really cool donuts with the colorful frosting and the sprinkles, and then you could give it to them. If you like to draw, you can make this really cool card with all sorts of donuts on it and unicorns or basketballs or whatever else it is that they love. You could call them on the phone or give them a video call and just talk about how amazing donuts are. And second thought, maybe ask them how their day is going and talk about something that they actually wanna talk about. All right, so I might have gone a little overboard with the donuts. Guys, it doesn't have to be about donuts. Just think of something special you can do for that person this week. Something special for that person who doesn't know Jesus can show them how much you care about them. So while you're thinking of what that something is, we're gonna start singing to God together right now.
Hey friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and my neighbor Miss Kathy Sue just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spy with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Hoo, hoo. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> our friends. Stormy Jane, it's our friends. They're here for a story. Hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great. All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything. But he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. A house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, 
became happy Paul who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm gonna show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20:31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Can't do anything. Wow. Oh wow. Shout wow. Jesus can't do anything. Wow. Oh wow. Shout wow. Jesus can't do anything. 